Hello? Okay, what's wrong with my OBS? Hopefully it's fine. So we are back. First day. Yeah. And let's start the day with an urgent job. This is urgent. Yeah, you know, when the customer comes, we booked in the job, like in this morning, 21 March, yeah? So this this is, it's, it's not charging, it's not doing anything, yeah? You can see it's not charging light, but the charging port is looking fine. So I don't think we have a charging port problem, but we can check, yeah? So let's try and open this one and see what can be wrong quickly, you know, this, that should be a quick job. Yeah. Uh, no. They call to call to PB. Yeah, sorry for that. Let's check. Let's see. Let's take the back cover. I think the back cover is coming out. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the keyboard is coming out. Okay. I think has the has screws here. Oh yeah, look, hide the screws. What about here? Yeah, even here are hide the screws. This is a HP. What model is? It's i seven seven gen, so I suppose it's a new one. It's a HP model three one six eight NGW. And on the other side, it's saying HP two fifty G six. It's a new one, seven gen. That's two, three years, two years, huh? something like that, yeah. So let's see what can die on this one. Of course, it's the manufacturer fault, like always. <laughs> yeah, the back cover is coming. Okay, that's nice. We have a nice solid state hard drive. 250 gig. Okay, so let's follow. You know, the what do we check first? Let's plug the charger. Obviously, first, the first things what we check is the voltage from the charger. You know, maybe you have a charging port problem. So let's check the voltage. 
on the charging port connection minus plus and we have 19 you can see that 19 on the multimeter and we have no light next what I will check will be the 19 volts power rail 19 volts power rail you can check the 19 volts power rail on any power supply the power supply path should be like you should look for coils where it's a coil there is a power supply see this is a coil 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 so there is a power supply and around this you have some capacitors you know like ceramic capacitor so here it should be like 19 So here is nothing this is a new one so I can't tell you like the path like what we spoke before like two MOSFETs a coil this is different because uh, you have chips you don't have any more MOSFETs so probably the driver it's the MOSFETs are inside of the driver chip so this is a new one but even on this one you know you should have 19 on the main power rail uh, here look you see the ceramic capacitors here behind of the heat sink here it's a big MOSFET but I can't see any voltage here you have some uh, this is a resistor Lohm's resistor and I have nothing some capacitors and I have nothing yeah Let's check one more time on the charging port and we do have I can't find any voltage here on this board but this is a new one this board is a new one it's, it's not like uh, we cannot speak about the standard stuff yeah remember here you don't even have MOSFETs you have the chip you see this chip is driving the coil this chip is driving this coil you have here probably this chip is driving this coil I don't know on the probably this is a processor uh, power supply you still have a coil and two MOSFETs here here you have a coil which probably is driven by look, this is driven by that chip and this by probably this chip from here this is a new one I didn't fix too many of these new ones but if before you can replace some MOSFETs on this one you have to replace all the chip Okay, the good news looks like, but only looks like, our main 90 volts power rail is missing. But it's quite hard to identify the power rail on this one. But let's try and do it, yeah? Uh, multimeter, dial mode. Let's check those caps. Just to see if we have any short. Here is a short, but can be the. Okay, that's a short. Here is a short. Okay, this is bad news from a simple reason. If it's a short on a power rail, on, on our 19 volts power rail. The problem let, let me start the microscope so you can see exactly what I mean uh, most likely it's not a cap it's a, it's a driver you know it's a power supply itself and not MOSFETs the big MOSFETs the big MOSFETs are solid but whatever is on these small chips you know this is nothing solid there they, they are they are like on the limits they are working on the limits everything on these days go cheaper and cheaper and they are using you know like on the last video he modified that job and actually the people think it's wrong I don't know it's it's weak it's supposed to die it's no the manufacturer is using not the best components the cheapest possible components yeah so you think you know it's he's the god he's not it's trying to use to make the product cheaper as possible yeah so let's switch on the microscope let me explain what I mean, yeah? 
so what I can see here, look, I just get a random thing, yeah? I have no idea what's that chip. I have no idea what's that chip. I can see a coil. And the coil truck is coming somewhere here. So I suppose this is the, 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 the driver which is driving that coil. I don't know. Like how I said, yeah? A coil, probably this is most likely the chip which is driving this uh, coil. Yeah, the power supply, I mean. This one, yeah, we have a coil. I can't see, sorry. Coil, and look on the driver, you see the truck is going straight to this chip. And this is driving the... This is a power supply, yeah, so now the MOSFETs are inside of the chips. Look, this is another one, yeah? Coil and it's dry. Look, the, the, the chip is driving the coil. Go up on the other side. On the other side, this chip is driving this coil. I don't know about these two coils. Probably on the other side, we have the chips. The only one which is the old style one is this one. Probably this is the processor one. We have the coil. We have one MOSFET, you can see it here, and one MOSFET on the other side. The problem with these caps are shorted. Most likely there should be 19 and it's not. So if I come with a multimeter here, yeah. So what I will do, I'm pretty sure this is 19 because the, the, this is the output capacitor, obviously from the coil, let's say from the coil to ground, yeah. From the coil, the ground, yeah, and we have the uh, that's the processor, yeah. So if you see there, like uh, this is like 14 ohms. No, it's not sure. That's the processor internal resistance, yeah. So I believe uh, here it's it's no here is ground zero zero, yeah, and here we have like zero zero two. If I'll switch on ohm scale, I don't think this. So again, yeah, this is the output. So on the output or the, or you, you can check on the capacitor, yeah. On the output in the capacitor, you will have. You will have. One point six ohms. Okay, that's a little bit too low. I don't know where that capacitor is connected, but if I check straight on the output of this coil, which from here is going to the processor, is 13.9, that means 14 ohms, which is fine, yeah? Or I can check on this capacitor, will be same result. 14.8 ohms, yeah? So that's the output. If that's the output, yeah? Let me check just to be sure, yeah? So one is coming, no, that's ground clear, and this is coming here, okay, that's mean here, I should have 19, and I don't have, so what I will do, I'll come with the power supply with 19 volts, and probably we will see smoke or a big explosion or things like that, yeah, because something is shorted. And it's, it's no point taking the board out right now, on this moment. So I'll connect the ground here. Okay. 19 volts. And I'll come 19 volts exactly on this MOSFET. 2 amps. Let's see what is smoking. Smoke, smoke. Nothing. Okay, let's see what is getting hot. If something will get hot. It's something is getting this power. That's not normal. Uh, by the way, the voltage, yeah, 1.2 volts, which is again is not normal. It should be 19, and should be no current drawing when the laptop is off. And I can't feel anything hot. Okay, let's raise the current. Three amps. Four amps. 
4 amps, we have 2 volts on the other side. Okay, you can feel something here. Oh. Okay. Let's use like usual. I don't know where is the freezing spray, but let's use petrol, yeah? I think one cap is gone and that's fantastic. I'm saved. I am saved. Yeah. So let's have a look on these caps, yeah. And I'll put the power supply on the same place and I will put it now. Now look at that cap, yeah. Look on the petrol moving, you know. So I suppose that cap is dead. And that's fantastic. This one, yeah. One more time. On. On. Off. On. Off. On. Off. Yeah. So this. This is gone. This is gone. We don't need it. The laptop you will be happy without it, yeah? Let's try now power supply. Let's connect the power supply there. And it's not short anymore, yeah? I think we are fine. We are saved. Exactly, yeah? Oh, we don't need that cap anymore, we'll be fine without it. And we have white light. Yeah? Let's power up the laptop. And it's on. Oh, yeah, it is a bit locker there. But the motherboard is fixed. Yeah? Okay, good. If you want to replace the capacitor, replace it. I don't replace them. We spoke about that, what that caps are there and what they are doing. You remove one, you still have like one or two, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, but that's a new one, i7 7 gen, that's fine. How can I shut down this? Ask me for some keys, some things, but that's not my problem, you know? Everything is working fine, so now if I go there and check, the fan is spinning. If I go now and check, what I told you should be 19, yeah, you remember? So I go on the same place, here, and we do have 19.8, yeah? Where did I check before? I check on these caps. Let's check these caps. So I suppose here I was wrong. Here I was wrong. So there is no 19. What about here? Here, yeah, 19.8. That's right. What about here? Here is 19.9, .9, that's fine. What about here, on the cap which I just removed it? Obviously it's 19, yeah? What about these next caps, which are together 19 and 19? Okay, what about here? On these caps, should be 19, okay? Fun is spinning, we have, yeah, everything looks fine. Yeah, the keyboard is working, it's, it's nothing to check. Turn off.
Okay. You know how are with the caps? Who done the? Who did the audio? You know amplifiers who build up the audio amplifiers. He he has a, like experience with the audio amplifiers. He remembers the audio amplifiers. The bigger caps on the power supply. You know. It's actually it's not the the best. The you'll not get better perf performance. Yeah. But you'll have like a, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You have a big room, yeah? So you'll have a lot of uh, resources, yeah? So big caps, a lot of resources. So when you have a big base, the amplifier can get power from the capacitors. Same thing with the power supply, but it's a different story. And same thing. Kind of same thing. That capacitors are doing a lot of more things. Like they are keeping, you know, when the MOSFETs are switching, all that switching, yeah. Let's say, let's like, how can I explain it, yeah? Uh, if you have a weak electric, uh, electrical uh, wiring, yeah, you plug a big heater and you see the, the light bulb, the, 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 the light is going a little bit off, yeah. Same thing with the switching power supply, yeah? Switching, all that switching, a little bit of, of a part of that switching is coming back on the main power rail, yeah? And that capacitor, it will send to the ground all the, the things, yeah? Uh, you, you'll not understand, but we spoke about that. We spoke on the power supplies, on the, on the switching uh, power supplies. It's hard to explain, but... Don't worry, if you have this job, you can just, you can remove the capacitor, you still have one or two there. And if you don't have one or two there, the next power supply, it will have, yeah? So somehow, whatever it's, it's getting escaped from that power supply, it will be shut down to ground on the next one. Okay. I wish I can have time to explain more, but this is not my business, yeah? So I can't really do educational videos on uh, on here, yeah? It's not fair. Same with the, begin the, be the beginner lesson, wow. The beginner lessons are, you know, that's my fail. You know, and I assume that it's, it's it's my fail. So I start the beginner lessons. You remember? And uh, I did check. Let's say, let's. I said myself, yeah. Let's see how the other people are doing these kind of things. So when I when I go on on YouTube and I check, wow, there are a lot, a lot of people doing beginner lesson a lot better than me. You know. And the problem you get, you get some less of nice animation, how the current is flowing, how the voltage is going. It's, I, I felt so bad, you know. As I, you know what, I, I can't do it. I can't do it on this way. These, these people are more professional. On these days, it's so easy to learn electronics. On so my time, I have to buy books. Well, on these days, it's just crazy. So nice animation. I just, I just, I just look, you know entire video about how the current is flowing and the things is moving and wow so uh, I'm, I'm not sure about the beginner lessons uh, I don't know
but we'll see in the future. Okay, let's see if it's if it's charging. If it's working. We do have the orange charging light, that means it's charging. It is coming on and he asked me for a pin, which I think, you know, that's the main thing, that's the customer, it's not my business. So it's nothing what we can check more. But I'm 100% sure this laptop is fine, yeah? Okay, that's great. Happy I fixed it because the, the man, he left the laptop on idea. He's, it's around here and it, this must be fixed like one hour, two hours. But it's fine, it's 26 minutes and we fix it. The man will be happy. Also, this job is very well paid, so everyone is happy. Okay, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one, yeah? Bye.